So this screencast is on solving systems of equations by substitution. And what we're going to do is we're going to walk through the substitution method. So think if you think about substituting, think about like if I'm out, I have a substitute. Think of sports. You substitute somebody in. Um, that's what we're going to do in this case. So we're told that y is equal to negative x minus 7. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that equation and we are going to replace our y with our negative x minus 7. Everything else will stay the same. And now we'll solve by distributing through the parentheses. So we have negative 5x minus 35 plus 3x equals negative 13. When we combine like terms, we'll put our negative 5x and our 3x together to get negative 2x minus 35 equals our negative 13. And now we'll solve like a regular equation. We're going to add 35 to both sides. So we'll have negative 2x equals 22. And then we'll divide both sides by negative 2 to get x is equal to negative 11. Now, we're not done just yet. We need to find the y value. And remember, this is going to be written as an ordered pair. So we're going to take that negative 11 and we're going to plug it back into our equation. So we have y equals negative x, which is a negative 11 minus 7. So we'll have y equals 11 minus 7, which will give us an answer of 4. So our ordered pair is going to become negative 11 comma 4. So the second example is what you're going to see in your IXL when you begin. And what you're going to do is you're given that y equals 9. So you are going to take that 9 and you're going to replace it in for the y value. So we now have 7x plus 8 instead of y, we'll have 8 times 9 equals 16. So we have 7x plus 72 equals 16. We will solve like normal, so we'll bring 72 down, or bring it over, we'll subtract. So we have 7x equals negative 56, and we'll divide both sides by 7 to get x is equal to negative 8. Now, we know x is negative 8, we know y is 9, so all we have now is just to write our ordered pair, negative 8, comma, 9. For this example, we are given y equals 3x, so we are going to take the 3x and we're going to substitute it in for our y value. So we're going to replace the um, bottom equation. Instead of 2y, it's going to be 2 and then times 3x because we're going to substitute that in minus 5x equals 4. So we're going to multiply them together. 6x minus 5x equals 4. If we combine like terms, we get x equals 4. So again, we're not done just yet. We just know that first number in our ordered pair is 4. So we're going to take that number and we're going to plug it back in here to find our y. So y equals 3 times 4, or we can just say y equals 12. So our ordered pair is 4, 12. This next example is something that you might be used to seeing last year. Um, sometimes it's called the equal values method. But basically, what we're going to do is because they're both equal to y, we're going to set them equal to each other. So I'm going to take 3x minus 5 equal to 4x minus 10. And we're going to draw the line down the equal sign. We are going to solve, and again, you could do this a variety of ways. I'm going to start by bringing 3x over. So I have negative 5 equals 1x, or just x, minus 10. And then I'm going to add 10 to both sides. So we're left with x is equal to 5. Again, you're not done. You know the x value. Now you need to find the y value. So we're going to take that number and we're going to plug it back in. So instead of y equals 3x minus 5, we'll have y equals 3 times 5, which is 15, 
minus 5. So 15 minus 5 will give us 10. So our y value will be 10. So our ordered pair would be 5 comma 10. For the last example, we are again doing substitution. We're told y equals negative x minus 11. So we are going to substitute that in for the y value in the second equation. So instead of 3y, we'll have 3 and then in parentheses negative x minus 11. Plus 6 equals 6x is going to come down. We're going to distribute, so negative 3x minus 33 plus 6 equals 6x. And we're going to combine like terms. So we have negative 3x minus 27 equals 6x. So we're going to add 3x to both sides. And we have negative 27 equals 9x. So we'll divide both sides by 9 to get x equals negative 3. Again, we are not done. We just know the first part. We not need to find y. So we're going to take that x and we're going to plug it back in. Now just be careful. It is y equals a negative and then the x. And since our x is a negative 3, what's going to happen is those two negatives will turn to a positive. So this just becomes y equals 3 minus 11, which will give us negative 8. So our y value is negative 8.